Here's Michael Ulefir with Talking Wine. I'm talking to Rian Moller, who is a winemaker at Paderberg Winery, the home of Chenin Blanc, which was founded in 1941. Morning, Rian. Good morning, Michael. How are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. Nice talking to you. Now, you guys at Paderberg have been raking in the awards and the medals and the cups and things this year. What's your secret? Uh, Michael, um, three words, passion, devotion, dedication, I think it is. It's uh, and bringing everything together, it's uh, and, and hard work, and uh, working as a team together, we really um, strive to do uh, the best we can and deliver the best wines we can. Yeah, and of course you've got good viticulturists out in the field working with your suppliers as well, don't you? Yeah, exactly, and, and, and having a good relationship with the suppliers and the, and the grape growers really just adds to the... Uh, to the finer detail yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah, one of the things that was very exciting for me um, this year was the the, the launch of your uh, the dry land collection. Tell us how that came about, Michael. It's it's a long term project we've been running for the last seven years about, and uh, and and we, and we we source grapes of uh, from about three three thousand hectares across the Western Cape and mainly in the Afterpol and the Wellington and Mansbury area. So that's roughly about 6,000 rubber fields. Now, through time, we've learned that some grapes are better than other grapes, and we went in, into those d- different blocks or vineyards and selected the best couple of rows, five tons or six tons of grapes. And then we picked that uh, separately. We manipulate them differently in the, in the vineyards and, uh, and make wine from them. And that obviously is our best grape. So we get them the, the best uh, uh, care and, uh, and attention, and then they evolve into magnificent wines. Amazing. And now that the wines have been in the market for a couple of months, do you, you think you've met your objectives? Absolutely, yeah. It's been, uh, it's been quite a ride uh, since the launch of these wines in August. Everything has just basically fallen into place. Um, we had some good write-ups uh, of a few wine writers, and then uh, suddenly the wines started to win competitions after, well, after one another. So, yeah, things really just came together at the end of the day, and I think it's, uh, it's just a show of, uh, of hard work. Yeah, it was, I must say, I, you know, that dinner where we, where we launched those wines, I just thought that they were just stunning. And what really, really amazed me was the incredibly even-handed prices that these wines are going for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, people, I, I think, still have the, the tendency to think of a bulk producer than uh, we, you know, making, making everyday plonk wine, but it, it's not actually the case. It's because our wines are a little bit cheaper. It's just actually because we can afford to sell them for a little bit cheaper. Yeah. Uh, over over it costs us, us uh, get spread over a broad spectrum of, of, of um, facets, so uh, that gives us the ability to still produce good quality drinking wine at, for affordable prices. And, and the Dryland Collection is available where? It's mainly from the Salador here in the Achterpol, mm-hmm. um, and then uh, selected uh, restaurants across the country. Good. Now, the other exciting thing is the, is the imminent release of your two MCCs. Tell us a little bit more about them. Yeah, we've, we've uh, done a Chenin Blanc 2012 MCC and a Pinot Noir 2012 also. Uh, it's, it's like above. Eh? We've, it's, in 2009, we did the first MCC release in the history of Paderbach, and uh, it's been a massive success. And we just uh, decided to, to carry on with it. Um, the Chenin Blanc, because we're a big Chenin Blanc producer, uh, we decided to go with the MCC uh, in that, which is not very... Um, popular or uh, uh, don't find it a lot and then with our workhorse of Pinot Noir which is very uh, well known for producing top quality MCCs across the world we've, yeah. uh, we've decided to try our hand with that as well and the prices of those two? Uh, they're, bit, they're roughly about 100 rand a bottle gosh also even handed yeah Rian it's been lovely talking to you thank you so much excellent take care thanks Michael this has been a sponsored wine talk for further information, please go to www.michaelulafir.co.za.